a pair of thumbs, and a pair of CEOs. If you strip it all back, that's essentially been the key for Research in Motion, the company that brought the world the BlackBerry. Stay tuned for CNN.com. For co-CEOs Mike Lazaridis and Jim Balsillie, this is a rare moment together, but long enough to get a hint of a critical partnership. It's highly developed, it's high functioning, it's high trust. I think definitely because we're busier, the interplay isn't quite as ad hoc as it used to be, mainly because you're pulled in more directions, but there's still... I know, know one thing that's different. What's that? We don't share an office anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mike Lazaridis founded RIM in 1984. Jim Balsillie joined eight years later, investing his life savings in what was then a pager company. It wasn't until the late 1990s when RIM built its defining product, the BlackBerry, beginning in Mike's basement. I remember going home and I went downstairs and, and I just started typing. And I remember, um, you know, three hours later, looking at it and saying, this is it, this is what we have to do. And that became the, the, the blueprint for um, basically interactive paging. A blueprint the company still uses today. The device caught on in a hurry, becoming a household name, changing the way people talk, work, and use their thumbs. The home of the BlackBerry is Waterloo, the city where Research in Motion was founded. Its headquarters are located right next to what the company founders call the gold mine, the University of Waterloo, one of Canada's top science universities and the source of many of RIM's star engineers. Now with over 4,000 employees and 5 million BlackBerry subscribers, RIM has become a big company, facing big company challenges, emerging competitors and a high-profile patent dispute. The case was settled out of court, with RIM agreeing to pay NTP over $600 million. We put a little parasitic drag for a while, but that's well behind us. We're on a strong accelerated growth. To keep up that growth, each CEO has his own focus. Mike on technology and vision, Jim marketing and business strategy, both with an endless stream of feedback from their clients. I get it nonstop, yeah. <laughs> and, and quite frankly, many CEOs and senior executives think I'm their personal tech support. Not only do we invent this thing, but we've been avid users across the company for a long time, and we stay in touch with this thing. Yeah, it's just totally. It's incredible what you totally. can do, even at a distance, you're still connected. And for those who say the BlackBerry makes you too connected... It does have an off button, by the way. <laughs> Where's that off button? James McDonald, CNN, Waterloo, Canada.